29th of November 2017. This is a female spade toy poodle. Four years old. Okay. Now, poodles all over the world, they have this ear problem. Some have it worse than the others. As you can see in this poodle, four years old only, the ears are inflamed, they see it all red. Now this is not normal, normally the ear should be of course white in colour, the skin and there is no dendrop. Scales, you can see the scales. And uh, this black pigmentation is due to the dog scratching, scratching and scratching. And uh, one of the reasons of course is that there is no ventilation and drainage due to the ears being uh, covered up. Let's see it's covered up like this. Now we look at the other ear, which is even uh, worse. You can see, uh, you can see the dendroph, the scales, you can see the scales, and uh, I think the owner has applied something, do you apply something into the ears? Yeah. Ear drops or something? There is some cream. Uh, some cream which is given by the vet, right? Yeah. Uh, so the vet prescribed anti each cream and antibiotics, and how, how often do you apply? I mean, you do it for the uh, routine, then you apply routine. Every day? Yeah. Every day, so they did apply every day. So that one is probably a steroidal cream, so it stops the pain, the inflammation and the pain, you see there? So, but that one is not, no good for the long-term use. I mean, you use you use a while, then it's okay. But you can see this ear, so it's, it's very bad. And there's a smell. And uh, the redness, the inflammation, uh, the scales, the dandruff. So, this this is a case of ear infection, we call otitis externa. Now, otitis externa, it's just a the thing that is an infection of the ear canal. Now the ear canal there is a vertical and a horizontal canal. So why oh, it's painful actually? So despite the ear treatment is still painful. So normally the ear canal is a full of ear hairs and uh, inflammation due to lack of drainage. How often you give the dog? Sorry? How how often you give the dog? Uh, once a week. Yeah, once a week. Uh, this one definitely there's some pain, some pain inside. Now, many poodle owners are not aware that this this area, you see, they always think that this is due to skin disease. Suddenly, or not over the over a period of time, they think that the poodle has a skin disease. So they will look for a skin specialist or some vets or self treatment. Huh? Now this is not a skin disease, this is due to scratching. Now normally the dog uses the back leg, the back leg to scratch the ears, scratch the ears to relieve the pain and then at the same time scratch here. So all this scratching over at least two years I would say because I saw the dog one year ago for the ear infection. That was one year ago. So now of course it's worse. This black color is due to chronic scratching uh, to relieve the itch of the ears actually and uh, the skin becomes thickened and pigmented so what do you apply here? Uh, some cream, I'm not sure what you call okay so the vet prescribed the cream and it relieved the itch but it doesn't cure is it? if it cures then the hair will have grown back beautifully covered so this cream which the vet prescribed is a uh, antibiotic and anti-inflammatory cream. Now this type of cream, you apply for a short while, it's okay, let's say one or two weeks. Because once you apply for a long time, it kills the cells, so the hair becomes, the hair cell, the hair follicles cannot uh, grow back. So the more they do, over the years, let's say three years from now, this will be all black, like a crocodile, hardened and black. So it doesn't help the dog, because the dog, knows that it's itchy but the cause, the problem starts from here okay, you can see the problem is here and uh, what the owner applies is something from the vet with steroids so it's not so painful you see, it's not so painful but it didn't kill, it didn't kill in fact, it, it is even worse do you see the dendron? Mm. Uh, see the dendron so in such cases, we call it a chronic Chronic otitis eczema means infection is a long time. Huh? Now this is the ear canal, we, we just see the anatomy. This is the vertical canal and this is the horizontal canal. Now this diagram shows the 
cross section, so you can see. Now, when the horizontal canal, when the vertical canal and horizontal canal is obstructed by covering, by the floppy ears I cover, up, so that the water cannot drain up and the air cannot go in to ventilate. So, in effect, this now has is an inflamed vertical canal and, and an inflamed horizontal canal. Now, it's lucky for, for this dog because in some dogs, the eardrum is uh, ruptured due to the infection and the dog will tilt the head sideways. At that time, it's too late to read. That means it's like that head tilt, we call it. And of course, it is already very hard to cure at right that time. So now, I did advise the owner one year ago, or the sister, that there's an operation which solves the problem. Solves the problem because it opened up. Open up the vertical canal, open up. Now, what we do, we cut, cut the rectangular, rectangular piece of cartilage and open up the vertical canal. So once you open the vertical canal, then you can drain. So like this, drawing, you, you, you can see there's a vertical canal open up and all the water can come up when, when uh, during the bathing because this one is open up on the vertical side and there's air going in. So that solves ninety nine percent of the that surgery solves ninety nine percent of this chronic ear infection and, and because there's no more pain and itchiness and no more steroid use, this part will slowly heal and the hair will come back make, if it's not too late. If it's not too late. And uh, in this dog the surgery has been done because as you can see they have done about Two years because you no know, one year August last year I saw the sister and uh, recommended this surgery. Uh, apparently they, they didn't think it was uh, it was uh, necessary. Many owners think that way. They need to be educated. And uh, in Singapore it's very hard to educate owners on the on the use of lateral ear canals, resection surgery, opening up the vertical canal and to resolve the problem, part of it could be due to owner not, not uh, keen on surgery and anesthesia for their dog. Secondly, it could be due to the cost. Well, obviously, the cost is a bit high due to the fact that there is a need to do surgery and anesthesia for about one hour for both years. So, the, the time that they taken is uh, not, uh, not uh, short. Of course, if a short surgery, let's say 10 minutes, the cost will be very low, maybe $115. But uh, so roughly the cost is about $500 per year. And uh, But this will last the dog for for life because then there's no need to, to uh, for them to send the groomer who will pluck the hair and clean the ears. But that one is not effective for this dog. Most likely the reason is the dog has a very, see the, see the dog? The dog has a very narrow ear canal, so so the, the drainage is hard and the ear canal is full of hairs, which I don't know whether the owner knows how to pluck, or maybe they have to pluck it out for hair. So you can see the opening is very narrow. And uh, so what is keeping the dog from getting worse is the steroid cream, but it doesn't really help because you can see the surrounding is really uh, very hard to maintain. Do you maintain it? Do you wash it? Yeah. yeah but it's you wipe it, you wipe it before you clean it. And before you apply the things. Yeah. So what happened if the owner doesn't do uh, okay, let's say a few years from now, maybe three years, the ear canal becomes hardened due to chronic pain and inflammation and uh, becomes a uh, rough and this whole thing, the neck will become worse. They become very thick, very thick black crocodile skin. And at uh, that time, if it doesn't suffer from head tilt, head tilt means the infection has gone into the middle ear, ruptured the eardrum. It's a head tilt. They walk, then the dog walks in a circle where you can walk straight. They walk like this circularly. So uh, this is to prevent. Okay, so this education video is actually to show that uh, some holders you need to do the surgery 
some products they can maintain it by themselves with a, uh, let's say monthly or weekly plucking the ear hairs, putting the ear drops and what and cleaning it. So in this case, as you can see, the owner really can't do it. So you can see some some is, is spread down here, so then see the drop start to bite here as well. Okay, finish it.